First and most basic way to image prompt in mid-journey is to pop a URL into your prompt and then even add a little bit of information to the end and then hit enter. From there, you get a generation inspired by your image. But how do you actually get an image URL in order to use in mid-journey? If you don't have access to a website you can copy the link from, there's a few ways you can do it. First, I can go down here and go to plus and upload a file. I grab a similar image here and open it, send, and I have my image uploaded into Discord. Now all I need to do is to, I can click on the image, where it says open in browser, I can right click and copy the link address. Now you can also do a similar process on your phone, it's not quite the same, but as you can see here, it's just a matter of sort of hitting that image and finding where you can copy that URL. Once you have that URL, you can type in imagine, paste the URL in and add your prompt, and then go for it. And again, I've got my image. But some people have actually had issues using Discord for that same reason, so I have another solution for you. This is postimage.cc. And what it basically allows you to do is to choose an image from your computer. It will upload it. You can go down to the direct link, and I've tested this out. Copy that address, head back to Discord, paste it in again, and you've got your prompt and image. But there's more that we can do. Once I've uploaded that image, don't, I don't need to upload it again. So I can just highlight my prompt entirely, copy it. I can paste that in. I remove the stars and the brackets. I remove anything outside of the prompt. And now I can type in dash dash IW, which is short for image weight, which allows me to sort of basically control how strongly Midjourney references the image in its prompt. So I give that image weight two, which is the maximum for version five and hit enter. You can see it more closely references the image down to the pose and everything, because the default of that is actually one. But what if I want it to reference it less? This time, instead of copying and pasting, I'm gonna to go to uh, roll. I've already got remix mode on. So if you go to slash settings, make sure remix mode is turned on. You can re-roll and change that image weight. So this time I'll go 0 0.5 submit. And now Midjourney has referenced that image even less. But there's another really cool thing you can do with images in Midjourney. Let's say I really like this particular image, so I upscale it. And this time, as we did earlier, I click on the image, copy the address, and again, I can include it in my prompt. And now I've actually used a piece of AI art as an image prompt. This can be done with AI art that wasn't generated using an image prompt. It doesn't really matter, but you can actually continue to go down this path of taking images, using them in your prompt and do what's called chain prompting, where you use an AI generated image in your prompt, and then you generate another image from that prompt and then use that new image in another prompt and keep repeating and evolving your art from image to image. One thing I'll point out is if I go straight into Imagine, and I paste the prompt, it, paste that URL in by itself, it doesn't actually work. If I have one image, I need to include a prompt, but I can also put two images in. I can pop in one, I copy this, pop in two, and I can actually have two URLs and kind of like work on a cross between the two images. And then I get another style of result by mixing those two images together. And of course, I can take that exact same prompt and even just say Blue Cape Samurai and add a bit of a prompt to the end of those two images and get a different result yet again. But if I want to keep blending images or even blend more images, there is another function called blend, which is uh, kind of like a more advanced version of what we've been doing. So I have these five images of Megatron that uh, I actually made back in my digital art days when I was doing a lot of Transformers imagery. Uh, and I'm going to basically blend those all together. So I go down and I type in, instead of slash imagine, I type in slash blend. And you'll see I get prompted to upload two images and I can add more. So I simply click, choose my first image, click, choose my second image. To add more images, I click in the field, I type in image three, click, and I repeat the process two more times for image four and image five. So you can see here, I've got five images and I can blend them in, but I cannot add a prompt. However, there is a little hack you can use in order to do that. So I'm gonna hit enter. And now again, we have some images, but if I wanna actually add more to it and get more descriptive, I can simply re-roll. And again, I have remix mode turned on. And now I add in Megatron from Transformers. Maybe I type in dash dash AR9 to 16, hit submit. 
And now I've been able to get a little bit more influence over my images and get something closer to what I was after. And that is by using blend and then re-rolling with remix mode activated. Another thing we could do is take say this image number four here and I can go variations. And because I have remix mode turned on, it says Megatron from Transformers. I can decide to add more if I want to like change the aspect ratio. So if I like that last image, I can still also add to it by using variations on that image. But this time we'll stick a little bit closer to the result. And you can see I get something different again. But there's still one more thing you can use when trying to use images as a base for your prompts. And that is describe. Now describe doesn't actually use an image, but if I type in slash describe, I can upload a single image. I'm gonna choose this other Megatron image. I hit enter. And what it does is it gives me four descriptive prompts that I can use. So I can actually just copy these, edit them, change them around in order to get the image that I want. Or if I want to, I can imagine these four one by one or hit imagine all to actually see what Mid Journey produces for all four of these prompts. This is prompt number one. As you can see, it's actually different from the image we uploaded, but the topic is still on point and we have got a different style. This is number two, where we've got something a little bit more like Megatron, but a different style of Transformer. Again, not referencing the image directly, but using descriptive words to get an, a bit of an idea. Prompt number three is more of a cyborg, but a very cool result. And prompt number four is a little bit different again. We get something that is very unique here. But let's take things a step further again. I can click on this image. Again, I can copy the link address because this is linking off to an image. I come down and maybe this time I take number three, and I hit variations again. And at the start, I paste my URL. So now I've actually taken the describe function and added an image at the start because now I can actually combine describe with an image prompt and see what kind of results that generates. And again, we get a different and more unique result where it has referenced that image with the fire, the red eyes, and uh, we've actually been able to use describe and an image prompt together to get another sort of more unique result. So those are a few different avenues you can try with image prompting in mid-journey. If you know of any other tricks, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.